Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with Oni, shall we? Where I just realized that we really need to sweep this stuff up uh, within 5.6 cycles, otherwise we're going to get some liquid I don't know what down here. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, well, we've got 5.6 cycles. I guess we can probably, at least for now, drop that to priority 9. We'll see how that goes. I had the weirdest dreams after I woke up and gave the facts on Beatus and fell back asleep. Okay. BTUS. BTUs. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so what do you guys think? Are we going to have... Is one steam turbine going to be enough here? Or... I wouldn't be surprised if we need two, based on how much work I see these two steam engines doing. Uh, how long they run for after each eruption. And I don't know, I doubt having a higher density of gas would help. I know we have to keep it under 150 anyway, otherwise uh, the volcano won't erupt. But uh, I don't get the impression that more gas, which would have a higher uh, thermal mass, um, would help. More steam, that is because the steam turbine heating up probably works the same way as uh, like a aqua tuna heating up, whereby it drops the temperature of what's coming in by a set amount, uh, or in this case to a set amount, and heats up based on the thermal mass pumped through it. Um... But yeah, it seems like a little bit of automation here is working. We are holding on to our copper here until it drops down to approximately room temperature, uh, which would be about 127 degrees, which is to say... I mean, currently room temperature is a bit higher than that, but once the steam turbines can't suck in steam anymore because it's not cold enough, uh, because it's not hot enough, uh, 127 is slightly above that, so we'll let the copper through at that point. Um, and we might want to do something similar down here. Um, hmm, I didn't even really think about that part. Uh, I think what I want to do though... Yeah, probably the same thing as what we're doing here, um, whereby we're just going to keep the items in the room until until they drop to that temperature. Didn't we have to... I think there was a couple of tiles here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to make some of our... Uh, conveyor rail out of steel because the other materials were literally melting. What is the melting point of steel? It's a couple of hundred degrees above the copper. Uh, hopefully gold has a lower melting temperature than steel. I imagine it would. What do we got here? Building, doctoring, digging, tidying, researching, cooking, digging, ranching. We'll skip that for now. Okay, um, let's see. Comes out at 2626 degrees. 2627, really. Uh, that's a problem. Well, it's only a problem if we run the conveyor rail directly behind it. We don't need to do that. So... I guess. That makes it all the, all the less likely that a single steam turbine is going to be good enough as well. 
Um, but I want to I want to try it. Um, so I guess what we're gonna have here is they are not picking this up at all, are they? Has it been a whole other cycle yet, or was that just one? 4.3 cycles left. Yeah, I think I'll make this urgent the moment they wake up. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a auto sweeper. And I think what we'll do is just... We don't need that much conveyor rail. If it's sitting on the ground, it should be exchanging temperature just as easily. Right? Um, but I will need a little bit of room for conveyor shutoff before it leaves the room. Because we can't put it behind walls. Um, so, conveyor loader, like, this should be fine, and, I don't know, will the items in the container actually exchange temperature? They should, but I don't necessarily trust that they will. Well, if they don't, that would actually mean the steam engine has more... The steam turbine has more time to equalize. Um, let's see. Can we also put a thermosensor? We cannot. Alright. Let's, let's work backward. Uh, thermosensor, I would like to here actually and we'll just have a little zigzag kind of thing uh, we'll make it out of steel because why not at this point uh, so if whatever is here is low enough temperature we're gonna let this through and then up we go and probably use gold amalgam from here on out uh, maybe not through the steam turbine. That might be a good idea, actually, if we don't cook the steam turbine with the product here. Uh, in fact, why don't we put some insulated tiles around? I, for I, I forgot to even put hydrogen in here. I remembered that yesterday. Um, and uh, I'm kind of going to bet that we're going to have to expand this. So, put that about here, maybe. Um, and obsidian tiles would have to go down here. Might be better if we expand it to the right, if we have to. So I'll just put insulated tile over here for now. And... Um... I don't think it's too important to keep the heat from transferring through here. Probably. Uh, let's make sure we leave room for one more, and and then we'll have an airlock. Oh, it needs to be a proper airlock too, because we're going to put hydrogen in here for the thermal conductivity. There's really nothing special about this ladder, maybe I should just go to the left here. And we could have the... Uh, I like this more. Uh, if I do that, I'll have to move the airlocks. Alright, let's say we put this here. And we have a gap there. And we have airlock doors here. At least one, anyway. 
Uh, did I make that out of copper? That's fine. We'll need obsidian insulation down here. Probably not, actually, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And obsidian uh, for, like, the bucket. All right. Let's prio this. I said let's prio this. Construction jobs. High priority. Sweeping jobs. Even higher priority. Because I do not want liquid uh, sandstone or anything in here. I think I'll um, actually just dig that out before I build the insulation so we don't have to sweep this as well. I could dig this out, I guess. No, it'll ruin the vacuum. And we've only got... 3.4 cycles left. 3.9 cycles left. Almost 4. Um, is no one else going to do like the... There we go. So we've got like what? 1, 2, 3... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... The amount that they have to move, though, might be a few trips for each of these items. Hmm. I think we're going to be too late. There's just too much stuff here. What, how much are they picking up? I didn't see. 670. Okay, maybe we can... We can probably get this done, actually. What is Kevin doing? Why are you idle? There's literally emergency stuff to do. And no one has an errand for this. Oh no. No wait, the airlocks have charges. This has one charge left. Are you stuck? How are you stuck if there's one charge? Is someone passing through here? Uh oh. Typical Kevin. <laughs> uh, um... Why is there no power? How much power do we have upstairs? Okay, what the hell happened to our power? Seriously, what happened to our power? We had infinite power. Was it because... Is it because the hydrogen train is stopped? And even though we accumulated all that... Uh, not hydrogen, um... Natural gas. Even though we accumulated all that natural gas, we're not... It didn't last that long? Bruh. Okay, um... These should automatically be switched off. They are. Hmm... Where else can we save some power? How did this happen? Well, the doors are opening right now. Very... Very slowly. No, they're not. They're closing. Wouldn't this be falling through then? One would think. Uh Oh, because there's no battery charge, we're not opening this. How did this happen? We had infinite power like two minutes ago.
Um, okay, I guess we're gonna deconstruct this. Uh, okay, apparently if I just mark it for deconstruction, they can move through it. That's, uh, that's some good cheats right there. Uh, let's drop this priority for now. I'm not as concerned if Kevin isn't stuck, but still. Yeah, power can get down here. Oh no, don't tell me. Next activity, 24 cycles. Next activity, 21 cycles. Uh, so at least we're not wasting natural gas because we can't, we don't have the power to pull it in. Next activity, 30 cycles. Next activity, 37 cycles. Okay, so it's the great natural gas drought again. Uh, and apparently all of this uh, renewable power is just nowhere near enough. Although, if I've done this right, it should prioritize itself. Oh. Oh, hold on a minute. No, I think these batteries will charge this battery. This one's prioritized. So that's actually not going to mess up the logic for when we open these doors again. That's good. But is it actually going to charge up? It is charging up rather slowly because only a couple of steam turbines. Oh, what did I make this out of? Copper ore. Rip. Wait, what can I make it out of? Don't tell me it has to be steel. Yep. Anything that, anything that has basic ores, we can only do it out of steel to improve the... The overheat temperature, or gold amalgam actually, but that would just make it barely, just barely get damaged. Okay, so we've got like a whopping 2.1 steam turbines, producing like a bit over five or 600 watts right now. Uh, here I thought I was going overboard with generating more heat in this room with the batteries. But if anything, it's actually not enough. I guess the steam room could be bigger. <laughs> just, just a gargantuan bank full of batteries. Alright, so I could automatically open the doors, but I want to see that this works. Uh, but the battery charge is taking forever. Okay, I think we're gonna... I was gonna say I think we're gonna open the doors manually, but apparently there's uh, medias incoming. Medias are coming, medias have stopped. I had to step away what caused the power outage. I think it's just that despite having all of this um, and the enormous amount that we charged up the batteries before, the natural gas just didn't last as long as we thought it would. Um, we're having a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a natural gas shortage. We're just finishing up uh, sucking in the natural gas that accumulated in this room. We've already emptied out the reservoirs. It's crazy, it looked like there was just so much power. I know, right? Um, so we, despite all this, we still don't have, uh, enough power to, like, get through the winter of natural gas. 
Uh, even when we've got five reservoirs full and like this at like five kilos per, per tile. Um, still not enough, apparently. How fast do the natural gas generators consume? Uh, 90 per second. 90 grams per second. That doesn't sound like that much. I'm actually really shocked that we ran out. Um, I can't actually quite make sense of it, really. Alright. This volcano is gonna... It's gonna happen too soon. Not gonna be able to get these items out of here at this rate. We have 2.1 cycles to make the dupes pick this stuff up. Hurry up, please. Oh. Now airlocks have power again, at least. But with the layout as it is right now, they have to go past three of them. Uh, can I just... Only allow people to go left through this for the moment. And prioritize digging this out. They should be able to hop down there, right? I think. It is reachable, isn't it? Can I not click on... Oh, here we go. Dig. Errands. Evil plot. Current errand. Fantastic. What the... No. Alright, there we go. And do they have a path down here? They don't. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't dig out the neutronium to drop this stuff out of sight. Is there nowhere to store this? Alright, what is it? Granite? Gold amalgam, granite... Should have done this before, but I didn't think it would be... I didn't feel like it should be necessary. Um, let's put some storages here. Can we get someone to finish this, please? No? Awaiting delivery st sandstone. Alright, here we go. Surely. Nope. Alright, fine. I'll drop the priority on the cleaning until we get the storage bins done. Infinite storage hack time, indeed. Move in. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We have 1.4 cycles left. I had like five or six cycles when I said I just want to move these items. And we're still waiting. I, I don't understand how it takes this much, even if it is distant. Especially when we're setting it as literally max priority. 
It could be because there's no storage room left. No, I see storages. Oh, these have these are for fertilizer. Uh, I guess that could have been the problem. So we only moved it when we ran out of it? Maybe? Also, power seems to be doing just fine now. I don't understand. How could power be doing okay now? We don't have any natural gas coming in. Oh, we do... Yeah, no, we're, we're consuming the reserve. Uh, that's in the room still. And it's getting quite low. And it's only a few machines that are running. Alright, at least we're going to get our solar power. Ceiling collapse? What do you mean? Also, what is Asim Vader doing? Are you stuck? Oh, you are stuck. Okay. Alright, so did we get any of these built? We did. Alright, we need gold amalgam, granite. Um, let's see. Metal ore. Gold amalgam. Raw mineral. Granite. Uh, water, gold volcano. Granite, gold volcano, water. Granite. Abyssalite. What's the melting temperature of abyssalite? I imagine it's quite high. 3421. So that at least wouldn't actually cause a problem, but I'd still like to clean it up. Abyssalite. Uh, where is it? Miscellaneous? There we go. And high priority. Copy settings. And this should already be pretty high priority. Alright. Hey, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where are you going with that? What? What are you... What? I literally just made the highest priority bin for you to put this in. That's right next to the... Why... Why are you like this? This is priority five! What? Maybe he was already pathed down there. That's probably it. And he doesn't... He doesn't check to re-evaluate his decisions while he's already en route. That must be it. What's this? Gold amalgam. For some reason it hasn't been marked as to be swept. Okay. Okay, we got there with 0.7 cycles left. Do I have a colonist in this game? Uh, I don't think so. But I am looking for new colonists. Um, I'm, I'm still being very picky about it. Mostly I want more... Hauling, supplying, building. At this moment. Alright, so let's make our insulated tile here. And we need to pump out this gas. Uh, high pressure gas vent. Vampire Survivors is 1.0 now. Nice. Uh, I don't know what version it was before, but I played it to death and then they added more and more and more and more. And I couldn't even really keep up. Uh, and I feel like when I go back to it now, it's almost going to be like a whole new game. Very impressed. Alright, as usual, max prior on the builds that we're trying to do. 
for a project. How's our power? Um, our power is looking really good. I, I don't understand how it crashed. Especially when we had such an enormous amount stored. It's not like a save game bugs out and just empties the batteries or something, right? R right? Still have no clue what that sound is. Alright, here we go with the... Uh, why was that made out of gold amalgam? Well, it doesn't matter. It's fine either way. What did I make this out of? Copper. That's probably... Bad, actually. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, it runs in 0. 0.4 cycles. I guess we're gonna find out if that's gonna be a problem. Because I don't have time to try to rescue it. Are these guys idle? You take a million years to get things done, but you're idle? What? I... Why are you like this? Alright, then build me a... I can't fit the steam turbine yet. Um, build me this here, get rid of those pieces of ladder. All this. All this as well. I guess we don't have storage space. I really wish the storage bins... I, I understand why people make infinite storage exploits. I really do. Because the storage bins are just way too... not dense enough. Are you guys all just vibing in here? In your spacesuits? Really? You do have a path out, right? Oh, that's my fault. That is 100% my fault. Um, why don't I just allow this one to have sandstone as well? So they do go picking up stuff you haven't told them to sweep. Which begs the question of how I would do an infinite storage system if I want the dupes to automatically sweep stuff up. I'd need them to drop it into... Um, will they drop it into something that we can automatically take from? Conveyor receptacle? Uh, conveyor loader. Can, can dupes... Is there a container that dupes will put stuff into that we can load onto a conveyor? Is this what that is, or... Allow manual use. Here it is. Allow duplicants to manage these storage materials. Okay. So I guess step one... Oh, we have gold. Uh, and this is... Made of copper... Is it going to break? Overheat temperature 75. It's going to break. 
And this one doesn't have an overheat temperature. This one doesn't have an overheat temperature. Uh, what about the auto sweeper? It's made of steel. Okay, cool. Um, I'm surprised the conveyor loader isn't breaking already. Overheat temperature 75 degrees. Oh, it's made of copper, not copper ore. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That puts its overheat temperature at 125, which it should it it still should be breaking actually, because it is immersed in steam. It's just taking a while. Okay, let's decon that as a priority. When's the next eruption? 0.6 cycles. And replace that with steel. Replace that with steel. There we go. Um, it's probably fine to leave this copper here, to be honest. Alright, so what's your problem? Steam temperature below 125. Maybe we will be able to keep up with this. With just the one steam turbine. Except we need to hurry up and get our hydrogen in here. We'll use this pipe. And I, I just won't tell them to build the output until this is done. Actually, I will tell them to build the output and I'll use the snippy tool um, to not connect this just yet. Alright, so I think we can just connect this here, right? Bonus points, it'll be nice and cold to start with. Down to 40 grams of gas in this corner. Um, and I definitely want to... Actually, I want to cut this off immediately. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um... We do want a vacuum here as well, even if this is going to be the steam room. So we'll build this last. Oh, they can't get out if I... if I do that. Um, is this made out of... I don't think it does need to be made out of obsidian, actually. It would only be if it was here, I think. Down to the micrograms already. Good job, gas pump. How's our power looking? Um, really bad. Well, at least it's not taking long to charge this. Do we still have natural gas happening? We do. But it's only coming... It's only using the reservoir here. I 
I'm thinking maybe next time... Um, let's see, polluted water comes out of this. Oh, polluted water also comes out of natural gas generators, doesn't it? Yeah, I was hoping to maybe have a room with just natural gas. But in hindsight, I'm pretty sure I did this about as optimally as possible, more or less. We have polluted water pooling down at the bottom, both from the natural gas generator and the uh, fertilizer synthesizer. So we're going to have polluted oxygen at the top, whether we like it or not. Alright then. Oh, are we done here? We're down to the single digits. 60... There's actually like milligrams over here. Alright, we got gold at 70, 777 kilograms already. Our steam has still not reached 125 degrees. Is there like... Let's see. Gold. Uh, gold solid. Specific heat capacity, 0 0.129. Let's call that 0 0.13. And copper, copper solid, 0 0.38, it is, copper has a lot more specific heat capacity. 11.4 kilograms per second at X temperature, 9.4 kg. yeah, 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 the copper, we actually started on hard mode. Uh, the copper spits out way more heat. Uh, the copper has way more thermal mass, that is. So... I think the one steam turbine is actually going to be way more than enough. We probably don't even need hydrogen around it to, uh... to transfer the heat as efficiently with the self-cooling. But I'll go ahead and do it anyway, just to be safe. Alright, cool. Accidentally did it all perfectly. So I think if we if we're conquering a volcano in future, um, copper is gonna be no pun intended, but the gold standard to measure it against. Okay. Maybe it's better if a little bit of heat can leak out here as well. Um, probably not. Probably not, actually. Uh, let's see. There's more heat coming out of this than I thought there would be. I thought, oh, it'll be easier to keep the steam turbines cool, but we know they can self-cool if this is vacuum sealed. So I think it would be better if we had proper airlocks here. Uh, only question is how to go about it. Apparently we have a bunch of lead again. Not sure how. Um, and we'll need to remove this hydrogen right here. It should actually be pretty easy to double this airlock. Fine. 
Fantastic. And we've already cooled down again. Oh, even better, the water pours onto the gold, cooling it down faster. Alright, we're going to need to power this. Let's get our conductive wire in here. And here. Uh, I gotta watch out and make sure we get some hydrogen in here before the steam turbine cooks itself. We're actually really close to doing that already. Construction. There we go. Alright. So we have a vacuum here. We do not have a vacuum here. There's still a little bit of gas coming up this way. Um, it's not... It, it's not equalizing into the room fast enough for my tastes. So let's do this. Max prio that. I mean, this will turn into... Oh, we're actually really low here. I was going to say this will turn into complete vacuum eventually, but... I don't know. If we're down to 11 micrograms in this corner, we probably don't need to finish this build. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, especially because it's night time, they're not going to finish it. On second thought, I'm not seeing the gas f make its way up to the top. So how is it dropping? Is this actually sucking up gas even though it's not animated? It really looks like it. We're down to three micrograms in the corner. It, it's getting slower and slower, as it usually does. But I've never seen it take this long once it's down to literally single digits of micrograms. Alright, that's vacuum. Learn something new. Sometimes it looks like the gas pump isn't doing anything, and it's it's probably just deleting really small amounts of gas, to be honest. Or maybe it is pumping it through here, even though it doesn't animate it or anything. Alright, and we need... Actually, we need to sweep this first. And only after that's done... Do we build this? El Pancho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can someone pick this up? No. They're going to build this first, aren't they? Nope. Fantastic. Alright. Now I want this build. Uh, so this is going to allow pickup of... I was going to say just gold, but I'll make a little exception and say copper as well. Uh, refined metal... We still need them to build that tower, which I don't think they can reach. Uh, I hope they're going to be able to climb across that. I think they will. Alright, now we need to pump some vacuum in here before our steam turbine, uh, not vacuum, uh, hydrogen, 
I was going to say before our steam turbine shuts off, but the hydrogen coming down this way is going to be nice and cool. So even if it does reach, which it probably will, yeah, turbine too hot. It's stuttering because it gets too hot, but then the water in here cools it down. But then it's not cooling itself as fast and it's going to spiral. But there should be some hydrogen here. Quite soon. Hello, good morning. How are you doing? Uh, Kari Gupta, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pretty good, thanks. Uh, we're just setting up a... We're just exploiting the gold volcano now, which, as it turns out, is a lot easier than the copper volcano. Because the thermal mass of gold is way, way lower. Like, uh, three times lower. Good thanks. Is Factorio on hold? Uh, no, we're doing Factorio, uh, Friday, Saturday... Sorry, no, um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday for my time. Which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday for most people. So tomorrow for three days. That's the Factorio schedule for now. Evil Plum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, that's our hydrogen. And that's our cool steam turbine. And that's our infinite source of gold. Now we just need to put the gold somewhere where it'll cool down. Um, so I want to set this to below... What the hell? Current ambient temperature is below absolute zero? I think it's because there's no item here. Um, below 127 degrees. probably be even more aggressive than that. Below 126 degrees. So if the steam is at minimum temperature or below and the gold has finished exchanging heat with it, uh, only then are we going to let it through here. Uh, this one's unconditional, this one's unconditional. What is that we're trying to build? An octave wire? So of course they build that last. No, it's the rail that they haven't built yet. Okay. Um, let's build ourselves some conveyor rail. Don't think it matters what we build it out of. For some reason, there's no iron. Uh, there's zero iron ore now. We've got lots of gold amalgam. There's a bit of copper ore. And we're just going to bring that back to... the same spot as we did with... Uh, the copper. Um, could probably ditch this experiment with the carbon dioxide. It's clearly not working. The AETN is as cold as it can get. Negative 173 degrees. Um, the CO2 is making it really hard to exchange heat. However... Wait, how is there polluted water in here? That's weird. Uh, I was hoping to get carbon dioxide down to the temperature where it would solidify. Um, oh, sorry, liquefy. And it does happen for, for very, very brief moments. Um, but it can't keep it up, basically. 
Um, so I think we will probably just stop pumping carbon dioxide in here for one thing. And then... Uh, let's say phosphorus. Not phosphorus, we're going to pump out all the gas. And I'll probably just put some hydrogen in here so that it exchanges heat quickly. CO2 is a very good insulator, indeed. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thrall, welcome also. Yeah, I don't know... How else could we get something extremely cold? I guess use a liquid coolant in, instead of have uh, CO2 immerse the AETN. Use a liquid coolant because it'll... I, th I think the liquid uh, exchanges heat faster with the room because it's got more... Well, it's just because of the properties of the gases and liquids. Um, it's more thermally conductive, more specific heat capacity. Uh, we could have a room with, like this, but crude oil or something. And maybe we could liquefy CO2 that way. I have my doubts that would have the result that I'm even looking for, but it's an interesting experiment. Do we not have... We'd have no power again. Uh, I can't believe we built all this and it's still not enough. Got access to super coolant? No, we don't. Okay. Um, well, the doors are opening, so there's that. And the sun's coming up, so that'll help. Where else can we get power from? We're getting solar power. We're exploiting the heat that comes in as regolith. Or on the regolith. Uh, we're using natural gas, we're using hydrogen. We're not using a petroleum generator. How much power? Two kilowatts. Damn. Combustible liquid, two kilograms per second. That seems like a lot. Spits out polluted water and CO2. Polluted water, CO2, lots of heat and power. Um, we will, of course, have to put this in a steam room. Actually, I wonder if it's going to have... I wonder if it's going to have... Uh, like, gas and liquid pipe outputs, or if it's going to vomit the product onto the ground. I really hope it has pipe outputs. Uh, it has a water input. Oh no, I don't like where this is going. I think it's going to be another thing. It's going to be another room like this, isn't it? It's a vomiter? Oh no. I don't like that. Uh, we've also got wood burners. How much wood do we have? Oh, wait, that's not what I was trying to look. Uh, we have 74 tons of lumber. Do you think maybe we should be using some of that for power? Perhaps. Currently we don't have enough dirt to feed the trees anyway. Oh no, it's a catch-22. 
not that we have pips right now, but we need pips to create dirt. Uh, we need pips to eat the wood, and the pips make dirt. And we need the dirt to make the wood. Uh... Okay. Um, I want to see if I can't figure out automatic population control. Um, before we start a new save as well. I thought I'd be able to do it with conveyors, but I think what we're going to have instead is just a critter drop-off that's low priority um, and allow surplus, uh, allow wrangling of surplus critters. So in the case of patches, I believe that's five. Okay. And then... I was going to say, isn't this nice, but then apparently they're lacking some oxygen here. Oh dear. How can we avoid little bits of CO2? Like, the tubes are only two tiles tall. They exhale CO2. And then... Even though we've got like one, two, three, four airflow tiles here for the CO2 to drop down, it's still like hangs around up here. It seems like we're just not supposed to have nice carpeted tile or anything like that. Maybe this should all be airflow tile. Unless I literally put gas pumps all over the place. Usually you'd want to make the airflow tiles in sets of at least two. Have a single one, it gets gummed up. Hmm. I see. Oh, did we finish this? Uh, it's full of refined metal. Oh yeah, this thing's waiting to cool down. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, we haven't built this out yet. It's actually mostly finished, it looks like. Nice. Did we make a vacuum here? We did. Alright, so I think what I wanted... To... Oh, that's super convenient. Um, We're just gonna... We're just going to connect this pipe right here. And fill the room with the most conductive gas. Um, and that'll help exchange heat with, for example, this 95 degree copper. How did all this other crap get here? I guess from building and cancelling things? Okay. I would have thought they would have built more than... Oh, right. I heard the bell. So how much have we got already? Gold... Uh, 1.6 tons. Does that include what's in here? I think it does. No? 1.6 tons of gold down here. And probably one ton... 
one ton of gold in here. And a little bit on the conveyor. So we got like... We're getting close to three tons of gold already. Alright then. I thought I'd done all the things to get some science, but actually it turns out I have to start launching rockets. Which I still don't know how I'm going to build. How are we doing today? Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, we got a gold volcano. It turned out to be the easy version of the copper volcano, actually. Because the thermal mass of gold is like a third of copper. And it spits out a similar amount. So just one steam turbine is way more than enough to, um, to keep this quote-unquote cool. Power is depressingly bad, though. Um, I thought we were actually in the age of abundance for power, but once the once all of the natural gas generators turned off simultaneously, um, we actually found that things are not so good. What is that? Is that natural gas? It is. How did that get in there? Huh. Alright, let's recheck our logic here. If natural gas is detected... If this one is not natural gas, we suck in gas here, but the shape of the natural gas versus the polluted oxygen here is just not very, not very flat. So we just spat some natural gas into space. Uh, hmm. What might be a little bit wiser is something like... Unfortunately, I can't put a sensor here. What if I put the pump way over this way? That might make a bit more sense. Okay. For now, I'll disconnect this. And that automation isn't attached to anything else, I don't think. Oh, it is attached to this one. Hmm. If natural gas is detected for 200 seconds... Or is this a... Wait, no, it's a buffer. That does get filtered, though. Maybe I should just put it through a filter, regardless. Maybe... Instead of bringing this all the way over here... Uh, maybe I'll just pay the little bit of power to put that through a filter. And it'll have a lower priority than this one. I feel like I did this before. Actually. Well, maybe we're going to rediscover why that was bad. Perhaps. Robo Jumper? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. OK. 
Okay, this whole build seems to be working nicely. I just wish we could get... It says unreachable. Must have been spacesuit things. Alright, let's have a peek at this. I guess we're not learning anything new that we couldn't have learned without uh, just by changing the view type, the overlays. So, water in via pipe. That's the only input. Wait, no, it's um. It's not water in, it's a uh, combustible liquid. Liquid intake pipe. Power 2 kilowatts. I, I'm gathering that varies based on the input liquid. Petroleum or ethanol into electrical power. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, first we're going to have to get some petroleum. Where's the station for this? That's well, not a station. Is it refinement? Oil refinery. No? Converts crude oil into petroleum and natural gas. Oh, we get natural gas out of it. 90 grams per second. That's enough to run a natural gas generator. It takes 10 kilograms per second of crude oil in. That's a whole pipe. Uh, alright. Costs 480 watts. Ouch. So 5 kilograms per second of petroleum out, it costs 480. Uh, this takes 2 kilograms per second in, so 2.5 of these gives us 5 kilowatts. That's a lot. So almost 10% of it goes to the uh where was that machine oh here's the oil well i was looking for am i gonna have problems with this this doesn't look like it where else can i put one i think i saw at least one other reservoir Here it is. So are these just infinite? Might be. Uh, might want to make it out of something that can take the heat. Perhaps. I think instead of building over this spaghetti, uh, I'd like to start a little project over here instead. Drain that liquid away first. Can they actually get there? I don't think they can. Okay. Didn't give this any settings yet. Uh, let's see. 
Low priority. All sorts of things. Actually, no. Raw mineral? So they have a place to put this. Never enough power. What are we printing? Doctoring, ranching, researching. Researching, decorating, farming, supplying. Not really looking for those. Um, and I think I'll... Alright, let's try this. I want to see how this works. If this works. So we're going to set... I'm just going to allow all critters here very low priority. And auto wrangle above two down here. Oh, is this it? Doesn't seem like they're going to transfer them. Time until death, 9.7 cycles. Because starving. All the more reason to get rid of one, I guess. So, are they not gonna... What's this priority? Level 9. Okay, what if I set this to level 8? Because otherwise they might never do it. Does it have an errand? Relocate critter. It does. Okay, so hopefully someone gets on that today. Fantastic. How have they still not done exactly this much... Uh... Conveyor rail. Not allowed by schedule. Gold amalgam. We've got lots of that. They've definitely got access. I guess I'll crank up the prio, as always. I don't mind so much having to wait a few moments for the autosave on the daily, but the way it interferes with the inputs is a little annoying. We do have access over here now. Fantastic. Someone on the job here. Uh, Evil Pla is... Looking to do this next, it looks like. Relocate critter, no pending deliveries. Wait, what? Oh, I think we did it. I think we figured out... Population management. Livable range up to 100 degrees Celsius. Um, but it doesn't seem to be... Body temperature 32... Oh, it's gaining. Okay. Wow, I didn't think it would take this long. That makes me feel kind of bad. Let's look somewhere else. Out of sight, out of mind?
Why is it taking them so long to make this conveyor rail, though? Sometimes unreachable. That might have something to do with it. They're busy doing this as well. Oh wow, they already dug that out. Alright, looks like we won't have trouble with the oil here. Let's mop that up. And I want them to build an oil well. The next step after the oil well is... Uh, let's see. Refinement. Oil refinery. Converts crude oil into petroleum and natural gas. Output is petroleum, natural gas, and nothing else. So far, so clean. So, fluid in, fluid out. It looks like natural gas is going to fill up the room. How conductive is natural gas? Natural gas. Uh, specific heat capacity is very high. Thermal conductivity is very low, I think. Uh, let's compare it to hydrogen. 2.2 and 0 0.035. Alright, so pretty similar specific heat capacity. Thermal conductivity of hydrogen is about five times higher. So, where did that natural gas... Oh, it was already here, I forgot. Um, are there any side outputs from the oil well? It's literally just crude oil and heat. Overheat temperature 2000 degrees, that's nice. Nice change of pace. That's It's literally going to melt before it overheats. If we make it out of lead, for example. Uh, Copper... Copper would actually liquefy before this thing overheats. Iron would liquefy before it overheats. Uh, gold would liquefy before it overheats. Wait, was it 2000? Yeah, 2000. Steel. We'd, we'd have to build this out of steel for it to take damage from overheating before it literally just melted. That's kind of funny. Uh, how much heat does it make? 2k DTUs. That's kind of a lot. Uh, the, the oil refinery makes a lot of heat as well. We could try... What's the ratio? Uh, let's see. 1,000 grams per second. And the oil refinery can take in... 10 kilograms per second. Really? We need 10 oil wells? I mean, obviously we could take from all of this as well, but like, it looks like we would need 10, 1,000 grams per second, 1 kilogram per second. Yeah, we would need 10 oil wells to not, to keep up with one oil refinery.
Okay. So, if I'm going to do like a local build, it's obviously going to be one to one. How many more oil wells can we have? I've only spotted two that I know of. Oh, three. Three oil reservoirs. They're so far apart. But if they're just going to pump one fluid out, maybe we should centralize. But they're going to produce a whole ton of heat as well. If they're going to produce the heat, I'd like to put a heat sink around them to start with. So let's do like a standardized build here, I think. Um... Where is it? Refinement. Oil refinery. Right next to it. And this is going to produce 2k DTUs. This is 10k DTUs divided by 10 uh, over time because this will be slow. Oil well gives... Uh, 3.3 kilos a second, refinery takes 10. The oil well said it takes, it gives, oh, it uses up a thousand grams of water. Okay. In that case, it's three refineries, uh, three wells to one refinery, and we've got exactly three wells that we have access to. I kind of want to do a perfect ratio now. But how do we pump the heat? I guess, uh... Sure, I'll take even more copper. Uh... We don't have to build a steam room around everything. We could just use insulated pipes to pump the heat somewhere, right? I guess. Crude oil, heat, and nothing else. Water in, power in. Getting the water over here is going to be a nuisance. I guess it's not going to be that much of a nuisance if we take it from here. Terra start is limited to three, indeed. Sloder, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There might be more wells hidden. Oh, okay. Yep, I see. Um, Alright, well, it's... Wait. Oh, it spits out oil onto the ground? Huh. In that case... I'm kind of tempted to just make it all pour into this whole area a little bit. Hmm. And also, also in that case, I might as well build around consuming from here to start with. Oil and related products are a bit messy in terms of where they put their products, indeed. Indeed they are. So regardless uh, whether we use an oil reservoir or not, we need to have a pump sucking up oil, right? So we may as well do that here or somewhere. Uh, let's start with theoretically... A pump. And at this point we're just building everything out of steel as a standard. Um, that's going to go to a single oil refinery. Which should probably be made out of not gold amalgam. The refinery gives us 
petroleum and natural gas and heat. I might want to move this to the left a little bit because this is the first time I want to try metal tiles above a room. Oh, high thermal conductivity, copper. High thermal conductivity and thermally reactive. I don't remember what thermally reactive means. Gold is probably even better. Copper. Uh, thermal conductivity 60. That's quite high. I don't care too much about the specific heat capacity. Gold. Thermal conductivity 60. Uh, I think the specific heat capacity is lower. 0 0.129. 0 0.385. So copper is probably best for this. Wait, how conductive is steel? I mean, this seems really needlessly expensive. It's actually less conductive, although it has a bigger specific heat capacity. Alright, I think we're going for copper metal tiles here. Uh, and we're going to have our... Oil refinery in a room like this. Make that out of steel, of course. That's going to output petroleum and natural gas, and it only has the output for the petroleum. So the room's going to fill with natural gas. Metal, tile, copper. It's going to go here. Steam turbine is going to be above it. Well, actually, the steam room is going to be here. This is already spacesuit only land, so we don't need a special entry. Aluminium is best? We don't have aluminium though. Um, Alright, we're gonna have... How many turbines are we gonna need for this? Let's assume two. I'll start with one and see if I have to expand it. Uh, insulated tile... Insulated tile... Uh, if I put it here I don't have room for the double modded airlocks. So let's start with that. Gonna have to cut through this. Oh, I already sealed this off. That was a good idea. Alright, so steam turbine. Um, I could put it right up against the door, I suppose. I can't actually place it yet. That's irritating. It's five tiles. I don't really need to pause the game while I do this, I guess. Uh, refinement, oil refinery. It's going to go here. Did that wrong again. Oh, we're gonna want airlock. Like I said, it doesn't strictly have to be um, a vacuum lock for the steam turbines, but 
Probably a good idea for the steam room. Alright, so the metal tiles will actually be here. And refining. I keep pausing it out of habit, like it's the start of the game and every moment counts. That seems good. Uh, and we're gonna need... Double airlock for this as well. I guess I could do it this way. I should probably have, um... Should probably, in the long term, figure out a bunch of rooms that need vacuum locks and figure out how we can cut down on how many uh, airlocks we're going to have for this. Like so. Um. If I'm building ladders here, I can't exactly get the gas out the easy way, if I do it like that. Let's just start with this. And then... Oh, this needs power. I have to deconstruct it because they didn't power it yet. Okay, starting to take shape. Insulated tile. And go here. And... Steam turbines are going to go up here, actually. I could just do another one of these. Speaking of saving on airlocks, I think I won't do the, since there's so many tiles, I won't do the cheaty deleting gas thing. I'll just temporarily make a, a mini gas pump. that up the top actually. Uh, ventilation mini gas pump. It's gonna go here. So this is gonna be our steam room. Turbine can go here and here once we get this out of the way. Can we just. Where's the uproot? There it is. I still can't place this. How's that unreachable? Oh, can they not climb this? That's probably why. Alright then. Got about this pump, I guess that's done now. Let's 
can go down here. I wonder if that sound indicates that a resource that was queued up to build something is no longer accessible. That would probably fit the patterns, maybe, that we've seen. Or heard, I should say. Oh no, the poker shell is still here. It's just reaching 100 degrees now. And it instantly died. Okay. Well. Uh, it's not a kind way to deal with it, but there's not a whole lot of options for that that we can automate anyway. It's not kind to let them overpopulate and starve either. These two are already starving. Jeez. Isn't this thing... Oh no. Where did the polluted dirt go? There was somewhere or other that I wanted polluted dirt, so I lowered the priority on these two. But now they're not getting anything. Got plenty of Paku. I don't see how I can... Uh... Can I auto wrangle surplus Paku? Max 20 critters. No, I can only control dropping them off. It's not like the uh, critter drop off. Uh, Schnitzky? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Yeah, is there no way to move Paku automatically if they reach a limit, get overcrowded? Oh no, they did this again. All right, we're just we're just gonna make sure we don't build these until we're ready. Come to think of it, the potential load on this wire is already really, really high. Um, I should probably turn that into a proper main bus type thing. Uh, that's annoying, but, but we can sort it out. Let's see, wire bridge, like so, and we'll need some power transformers. Um, I can't really fit them very conveniently. Let's make this whole area own thing. Have you got conductive wire? Okay. Oh no. Wait, what are you doing? What, how are you idle? Dig this out. What What do you mean? A trim? Okay. How about this then? No? 
I'm just gonna sit there. Even... Oh, you don't have the digging skill. Uh... Hmm. Okay, could, could you stand over here, please? No? Oh, you can't dig that out. That requires hard digging? What about this? He's gonna... I want to make him drop, but he's just gonna jump. Uh, what about a ladder here? Can you make ladder out of igneous rock? There you go. Alright. Fantastic. Okay. Do they not have access to this? They definitely do. Unreachable dig. Oh, right, I see. That should probably do it. Fantastic. So they can jump down there and presumably climb back up. Cycle 1k but only 12 dupes. Is it because of FPS? Uh, I was keeping I was keeping it at only 8 for a long time because I didn't want to like have the dupes starve or something while I was still figuring out the game. Uh, and I'm still being very picky with my dupes. Ascendanima, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Harvey UK, name, in, name a dupe. Uh, I don't think we have one... But the next one I bring in, that'll be yours. Uh, good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. It's not taking as long as usual, it feels like, to get this build done. Do you have plans to play Spaced Out DLC? Uh, it might be a while before I get around to that, but I suppose. Definitely within 10 years. What is this? Researching, decorating, suit wearing, building, supplying. It's not so good. Okay. I've been putting off oil industry for a long time, but it's not any particular material we're getting out of it that's coaxing me, in, coaxing me into it. It's just another, uh, another source of power. DLC is quite different in terms of progress because of multiple planets. Yeah, and there's no meteors, right? Um, I gather that much. Ashkan still has his original name. Wait, what? Oh, good point. I think I had him confused with... Asim Vader. Okay. 
Ash can. Uh, let me just scroll up to be absolutely sure. Harvey, UK. And now the autosave is wrecking my inputs. Here we go. Harvey, UK. Fantastic. Uh, good catch, Robo Jumper. Thank you. Okay. I take it back, they're taking their sweet time building this, as always. Oh, did they finish this? It looks like they did. We have... We have ice cold, less than 100 degree gold on the conveyor rail. Fantastic. And there's already gold here. 3.4 tons, in fact. At a frosty 30 degrees. Nice. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as insulated conveyor rail. So... They're going to be exchanging heat with the surrounding area as they go, but that's probably no big deal. Nice. Alright, so we got our power. Uh, I don't actually want them to build the airlock doors, but I want to see where they go while I figure out the rest. Steam turbine. One, two. Uh, pipes. I said pipes. Like so. Probably better if we have the output in the middle. Or maybe the middle of each steam turbine. Seems good. Seems very good, actually. Uh, and the other, th the only thing I haven't figured out about this though is, could we get it to take the, could we get it to take the natural gas out only when it's cool enough? I don't think it's going to be enough to like. Have na we have natural gas and heat being generated here. The heat gets equalized with this. We get steam. We do auto cooling. And then... This would have to be over 100... Like over 125 degrees in the long run, right? So I think we'd have to pump the natural gas. Maybe I should just not worry about... The natural gas over here comes out at like 150 degrees C, actually. We're already pumping gas that hot up this way. So I think that's probably fine, actually. We probably don't even need to wait. We can just pump the natural gas out as we go. Although it's probably a good idea to wait for a certain atmospheric pressure uh, so that it can exchange heat with this room up here. You could run the rails through the insulated tile. That's a good point, actually. I was already doing that over here to avoid uh, cooking the steam turbine room. Yeah, that is a good point. 
All right. And I don't think we need anything actually in the steam room here. In fact, it could be smaller, but we want the dupes to be able to move through it. Okay. Um, I'm glad they didn't build this yet, because I didn't actually want them to. And... Let's get... Insulated tile up here. Feels like a bit of a waste to just have one machine in this room, though. I know it produces a lot of heat, but still. I was thinking earlier about having more steps next to each other. Or even having all of these steps next to each other with steam heatsink just up here. Um... What are our other steps? Oil refinery gives us petroleum, natural gas. Petroleum goes into... Uh, exosuit forge. I think instead of pumping it all the way up to the base, it would be better to process it here. Uh, yeah, this is the kind of thing that really makes me want to restart with better planning. Like, once you've seen the production chains once, it's a lot easier. Uh, we don't need to make plastic. I, I don't think I'm ever using a polymer press again. Unless I, like, have a space rock that doesn't have Dracos. So that just leaves... Exosuit Forge, well, and Molecular Forges. Huh. I don't know what Isoresin is. Or Fullerene. That's really it, huh? Oh, we can get Molten Slicksters. They turn carbon dioxide into petroleum? Wow. Hmm. I thought... I know we can make a jet suit with this, but surely we have to refuel it, right? I guess it's just not listed here? Jet suit... Jet suit dock. Uh, emits empty suits of polluted water. Refuels with oxygen and petroleum. Okay. You gotta do rockets to get fullerene. Alright. The logit logistics are gonna be a pain here. I think what I might do is expand this room. If there... Oh, okay, Let, let's have a look again. Petrol EM. Uh, liquid. Exosuit forge, two times molecular forge. We definitely need that much. And... I guess I could have a reservoir of petroleum and bottle it as well. Because I really don't see, at this late date, how we're going to pump petroleum all the way up here for jetpack suits or something. Alright. Um, I mean, I might have to, anyway. Refinement. Molecular forge. That is big. That is a big one. Does this output... Yeah, it does. Um, I guess it's not too late to just make this bigger. And 
the... It doesn't require a duplicate operation, does it? The oil refinery? It does. Alright, we'll put this here. And I want molecular forge times two. Should probably leave room for a bit of extra space. I don't know. Econ this. What was it? Two times molecular forge, one times exosuit forge. Exosuit forge is relatively small. Um, but yeah, we'll be expanding this room out like something like this far. I think jet suits are universally disliked. Uh, I don't know about that. I saw people talking about how much it costs uh, calculation wise for pathing, but like. If we only have jet suits on the surface, for example, there's really no need. Oh, this is the top already. I wonder why. I wonder why this right here is where we can see the top of it. Probably just because we dug up that high, maybe? Dupes can path weirdly with jet suit. Okay. Yeah, I think, um. On the one hand, I would probably just make it so that they can come up here to pick up iron and stuff with the jet, uh, jet suits. But at the same time, like, eventually, why not just cover the world with, with this kind of thing? I mean, we've already done like 40% of it. Um, I'm sure there's a, there's a more efficient, more compact version of this. Probably one that doesn't even have a gap between the solar panels. But we'd have to do something a bit more fancy to make the robo miners work. But right now this is the project we're interested in. And decon that. Dig that out. Can they even reach up there? They can't. Okay. It feels rather strange, honestly, putting steam turbines all over the place to keep things cool. But what are you going to do? Have a massive central cooling system that covers the entire map? How is there so little hydrogen in here? Oh, I see. Wait, no. No, I don't. Oh, the input doesn't work very well. Hmm. I think we can fix that pretty easily. Oh, but it has to be like... Doesn't it have to be the hydrogen that's already in the system has to be prioritized? Oh, well there's your problem. Okay, let's uh, let's snip that again. That was probably a really bad idea. Speaking of which, how's the temperature up here? Oh, I think it got hotter because our coolant loop isn't doing its job. Because there's not enough hydrogen in the coolant loop. Yeah, that's why it's coming to the left here because it's sufficiently hot in this room. 
Uh, okay. Have they really not deconstructed any of that yet? They do have access. Yeah, here we go. Wow, good job. Oh, they have to go all the way in here for the copper. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, probably a good idea to not have them have to go through two airlocks. Um, to pick this stuff up. So let's do the same sort of pattern we've done here. Where we pick something up, but we don't let it out until it is sufficiently cool. How am I going to fit this? I'm going to have to move the conveyor rail so that we can reach what's on the floor. So we'll put a sweeper just above the AETM. Uh, and we'll have the same logic of something has to be cool enough before we spit it out somewhere. Probably right in the middle of the base would be best. Uh, let's go. Auto sweeper. That needs to be deconned. To... Oh, this... Oh, there's no way to reach the floor. Oh, no. I have to make it wider? Uh, really? No, I think if I do it, like, upside down like this, we just have to move the conveyor chute. There's just enough room to make it work. And it's night time, so no one's building. Okay. Tidying, cooking, building suit wearing, that's fine. Did I make a night owl schedule yet? I did. <laughs> that one that was a slightly different schedule. Um let's just go with where do I make a new one? Oh, here we go. Can't move these around. Can I copy this one? No? Okay then. Uh, what do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, 16 hours of work, you say. Let's have... Sleepy time here. Downtime 
here. And bath time here. Actually, uh, we don't actually have any night owls, but I'm guessing they're more productive in these hours. It's fine. Let's pick one of our builders, say Cavern. Let's just double check they don't have like an early riser trait or something. Uh, I need to actually select Cavern. Uh, bio. Seems good. Okay, uh, schedule. Cavern. Fantastic. And that way we should at least be able to get a little bit done at night. How have they still not deconstructed any... Oh, you're kidding. Bruh. Let's just do it like this for now. Alright. I am not a morning person, so I think it will be fine, indeed. Kevin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, well, that's going to take its sweet time. How's our power? Still sucks. Is why we're trying to do oil after all. Oh, I should see how this is working. Seems to be working relatively well. I mean, we're wasting power on this pump still, but at least. Look at that! It's not. It's not vertical. There's like a horiz there's like a slanted line of polluted oxygen here. Hmm. Oh, all of a sudden we've got a lot of natural gas activity. That'll help. Okay, then. Where's our build? So that should have room, I hope, for the refinery. And then a couple of molecular forges. And then a... Where is it? Station? Exosuit Forge. Should be fine. We can't actually let the crude oil out this way, though. Um... I hadn't anticipated that. Not even a little bit. Look at him go.
It always feels like a cycle is two seconds long when we're trying to build things. Alright, we can decon this now. And I just realized we're going to have to have a ladder here until the end of time. Um, these ones should be okay. Magma is at, let's call it up to 2,000 degrees. Oh, it's actually, I was looking at the wrong thing. It's only up to like 1,700. Only. If we make pipes out of... I guess we could definitely do radiant pipes. The melting point of steel is... Twenty-four hundred degrees. Can we make regular pipe, as in anything but radiant, out of steel? We can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we can't. We need, a uh, ceramic. I'm assuming here that all of these materials... Me yeah, melting point is gonna be way below. Uh, sandstone we know is pretty low, relatively. Wait, what? Sandstone solid. 926 degrees, igneous rock, granite, sedimentary rock. I mean, this is liquid rock we're looking at. So, I mean, of course. Magma turns into igneous rock if we solidify it. Sedimentary rock. Obsidian. Forgot we could do pipes made of obsidian. 2726 degrees. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, of course, we have relatively little obsidian. I don't know how we can reproduce it. But maybe if we do a build close to the magma, we could use obsidian pipes. Wait a sec, how are we going to pump magma if a steel pump breaks at 275 degrees? Good question. Never mind. Alright, can we get the... Oh, it already is. Very slowly. Oh, we got a long hair slickster. Consume oxygen. Thrive in close contact with duplicate companions. They have, like, plus decor or something, right? Capture method traps. So we can't wrangle it. What kind of trap do we use? Airborne critter? I guess? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Hiding to go. Okay, single, single choppers. Get out of here. Yeah, the crude oil uh, 
is taking its sweet time to level out over here. But I think it's low enough now that we can moth this. And I'll probably just... We're only using this for heat sink. I'll be a bit lazy and not use the big power wires for this. Speaking of which, we were trying to do a main bus of wire down here, like we should have done a long time ago. And that's going to need a bridge, actually. I put this in a terrible spot. Okay. What's the best way around it? Probably a bridge like this. No, that doesn't work either. Um, I guess I could turn the transformer around. Gonna low priority that. Don't really care when that gets done. And we can now fit a bridge here. I kind of hate how you can't have a bridge connect where these things are. TBH. So then we're going to probably snip this around here. And I might do another, another one or two somewhere, depending on how much load is on this wire already. And how much is on it afterwards. Come to think of it, we're probably going to want a... Oh, great. They really did that in the worst possible order. Or we didn't mark this for deconstruction, apparently. Why is it not... Why, why can't I... Conductive wire, deconstruct. It won't let me deconstruct it. Conductive wire, deconstruct. Okay. Um, cryo this one. Oh yeah, we were trying to move this, weren't we? Let's get a upside down auto sweeper right here in the only place it'll fit. Fantastic. Doesn't need to be steel for once. Let's make that out of copper. Thankfully, there's no underheat temperatures for any of these. Uh, and then we are going to need a conveyor loader. I guess there's only one place to fit it. Uh, that's probably going to need a bridge. These bridges look kind of weird. And I guess there's no conveyor spaghetti to worry about yet, so that's nice. Uh, 
I'll pretty much just have this come up to the middle of the base, I think. The least likely place to have to have the dupes go a long way. It's also going to cool the base ever so slightly. Oh, wait, we need some logic. Uh, we can fit it here. It's fine. So we'll have a temperature sensor once more and a conveyor shutoff. I think they can reach all that. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, please build this first, and this first. That way I can configure them. And they're going to need power as well. Stop telling me this is overpressure. I know it's overpressure. Fantastic. Alright. Wait, how did they build the shutoff first if I prioritize the other two things? Probably because it's a different material that was delivered. Oh, we've got this done. Fantastic. Uh, let's get ourselves oil refinery first and foremost. How much heat does this make? A lot. Wow. Um, hold up. Do the repes do the recipes that use the molecular forge? Petroleum. Do they have any outputs that are... Oh, I don't think so. Although... Hold up. Does the Molecular Forge recipe that outputs fluid just dump it on the ground as well? Can you please explain what that thing will do in the nullifier? Uh, sure. Yeah, man. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So here we are picking up refined metal, uh, copper, and gold. Uh, the auto sweeper will put things that it can reach into this container, which will accept only what I tell it to. Um, and that'll put it into the conveyor rail system. Uh, this is the anti-entropy thermo nullifier, which is constantly cooling this room. And we are getting uh, free gold and copper from volcanoes. Oh, what's this? Damage overloading. Potential load 3.2k. Oh, was that from before when it wasn't supposed to be connected? Probably. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, so basically we've got... Uh, long story short, very, very hot copper or gold, uh, which cools down in the steam room and is let out of the steam room once it gets to like 126 degrees. Uh, that travels to the cooling room up here. So we just drop this onto the floor uh, and then we sweep it up again. I wonder if it's not necessary to have the auto to have this step. Actually, it's going to auto sweep. Yeah, it, it's going to auto sweep um immediately. Well, I'll let it pick up the copper and gold that's already there 
and then we'll change it. Um, uh, but basically, we are going to put it onto this conveyor rail, check the temperature, wait until it is, let's say, below 20 degrees. Uh, and once it's below 20 degrees, we're going to activate this conveyor shutoff uh, and allow the items to pass back up this way and dropped into the middle of the base. Uh, and come to think of it, I think we'll just sweep everything in here. I heard a sad dupe. What's happening? Who's... who's sad? Are you trapped? Oh no. Um... What? Conductive wire bridge, heavy what conductive wire? Skill required operation. Conductive wire... There's still conductive wire that... It's the same problem as before, when I told it to deconstruct this and then build conductive wire over it. They didn't do that. Okay, do we have someone who can build this? Or are they all trapped because there's no power? What a nightmare evil plan is in, <laughs> indeed. The AI could really use some work. Well, not necessarily the AI even, just the ability to queue things up in a way that we don't have to babysit every single build would be nice. Okay, so that got done anyway. Or the, that got powered somehow. Uh, but yeah, the Molecular Forge recipe that makes super coolant or visco gel, um, it kind of looks like... It kind of looks like it's just going to dump it on the ground. Which is everyone's favorite way of having an output. Just fluid dumped on the ground. Yeah, there's no... it, it can make super coolant and there's no liquid output. Which means we're definitely not putting those recipes in here. So the only... The only recipes that consume petroleum for the molecular forge output fluids. So we're not going to do that here. Um, we're just going to... I guess, after all that, we're just going to put an exosuit forge here. But we're not going to make it out of lead. How's the Entropy System Engineer? Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how it is, is we're just continuing to expand and experiment with our rather imperfect, but first time long lived base. Uh, we're, we're currently working towards oil because. Apparently this isn't enough solar power uh, to push things over the edge a bit. Even though I, even though we calculated that the smart batteries are going to produce more heat that we can turn into electricity than the power that they leak, so I spammed a bunch of them here. Uh, surprisingly enough, the self-cooling steam turbines had no trouble keeping up with that. Um, but yeah, 
literally like 40%, 30 or 40% of the map turned into solar panels at the top. Uh, still not enough to push us over the edge so that between that and our natural gas, we can always um, keep things running. Doing great for first time, so much to learn. That orbit setup is cool, thank you. Do you mean the solar? I think we can probably make it denser, but like, it's gonna require shenanigans with robo miners that are not able to run some of the time because they're attached to bunker doors that open and close. I've seen crazy volcano heat exchanges for power. Uh, I've got some of that. It's not really a source of power, it's just a way to get rid of the excess heat. Um, gold volcano, as it turns out, gives us way less heat than the copper volcano. Um, I think we probably did need two steam turbines. St for self-cooling to keep up with the heat spat out by the copper here. Um, have I broken something? Possibly? Why is this full of copper? Wow, that is really, really hot. What is happening? Steam temperature below 125 degrees. Conveyor rail thermosensor, 541 degrees. What? The heat rising versus pipes cooling? Like a waterfall setup of lava, I see. Heat rising versus pipes cooling. It's a known issue, items below one gram do not exchange any heat at all. Contents 61 milligrams of copper. Well, how am I supposed to build around this f for full automation, though? What the hell? Bruh. That's really annoying. What's greater than one gram of metal, then? Could I, like... Enable, disable... I can't read from this building to make sure there's more than a gram before we push it onto the conveyor belt. Like different metals, right? Uh, no, there's only been copper in here for a long time. It's the one floor with these setups. People solve it by connecting a cycle sensor. Yeah, I was just thinking that. It let's one item through per cycle. Hmm. That's really disappointing. Oh, so this is green now. What else? What other problem do we have? Oh, same thing. No, this is, uh, this one's unconditional. Oh, is it, was it unpowered? That's probably it. All right. No conveyor receptacle. All right, then. Someone on the way to do that already? Looks like it. There we go. Green signal if below 20 degrees. This game has weird physics entropy. It really does. Alright, uh, 
so the conveyor chute here and then the auto sweeper are really unnecessary, but until it picks up everything that's in this room already, I'll um I'll keep that there. And then we'll change this up a bit to skip the unnecessary step costing power and producing heat. Okay. Um that's not that much power. Let's get a Let's get a gas pump. Let's get a few gas pumps. Let's not make the same mistake as before. Just gonna slow things down. One in the middle of the room here. One here. One here. And we're just gonna empty all of this. I guess they can't reach that, actually. Uh, okay. And let's get our first airlock in place. Fantastic. Um, we want to get our hydrogen down here somehow. It's not going to be too hard. Oh. I left literally no room for the output. I guess I'll temporarily deconstruct the steam top. I don't really want to do that. Uh, why don't we just cheese it a little bit and use this little corner? Alright, so that's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. And... Seems good. gonna have pipe once the game moves again. Uh, pipe up this way. Gonna need some ladders to make that happen. May as well dig that out. I like how they're having a little reading underneath the crude oil. Alright. Gas vent, just a regular one. And then we'll have a gas bridge, like so. Don't connect this until we're ready. Um, priority low. Or the hydrogen input. It's the last thing we're going to do. Priority slightly lower for this. We want to get this uh, gas emptied first. Okay. Can they go to the bathroom in a spacesuit? Decorating, doctoring, cooking, farming, cooking, building. Okay, no. Every time I look to double check that the solar panels are still working, there's meteors. Every single time.
Uh oh. Uh, why do we have zero patches? We're not eating the hatchling eggs. Oh, maybe we ended up with, uh... We, we want stone hatchlings, so this makes sense, actually. Well, I guess we could go looking for more hatches. I, I really don't know how they died, though. Or just didn't reproduce. I haven't been paying enough attention. Do we get a renewable supply of stuff? Like, uh, this crack indicates that there's some goodies in here, right? But I've never seen hatches or random seeds or anything up this way. Do we have to dig it without a robo miner? I could tell some dupes to dig this out. Here comes Damsel. Doing some supplying, actually. Wait, don't the uh, poker shells eat... Oh, it's polluted dirt, isn't it? It was the Delectavols that eat regolith. Storing zero? What? Okay, how... How do we have priority nine? Requesting regolith. And there's nothing in here. Picky eater too hot. Huh. Picky eater... Preferred food temperature range 70 to 80 degrees. Last eaten regular at 170. That sounds like they want it very hot. Regular 25 degrees. It's on the ground instead of in the critter feeder. But more importantly... Quill growth rate has slowed because they ate food outside their preferred temperature range. Oh, they ate regolith at a really hot temperature somehow. How am I supposed to give them regolith at 70 to 80 degrees? Do I need to... I probably need to keep them in a room that's 70 to 80 degrees. That's rough. Well, that's not happening now, not after we built this here. And it's out of metal tiles, because those are the only tiles they won't dig through. We are supplying this. Huh. Weird. Let's have a look downstairs. Oh, we built this. Alright, so here I want to make jet suits. What's it cost? 200 steel, that's like nothing now. Let's just make one for each tube. I'm sure if I try to actually put the jet suits somewhere, the um... A resupply of petroleum is going to be a nightmare. Uh, what are you going to do? Is that a blender? 
Why does the oil refinery have a kitchen blender? Petroleum and natural gas are its outputs. And petroleum output. Wait, what? Jet suit, steel, petroleum. I don't see an input pipe here. Oh, do they have to like... Do they have to pick up petroleum from a pitcher pump or something? That's kind of weird. It also means we don't have to have our uh, exosuit forge down. Let's call it a centrifuge. Uh, it also means we don't have, have to have an exosuit forge down here, if that's the case. Um, I guess... That's too big. I guess we could just output petroleum here, at least for now. Take a while if that's the only pump. Oh, we can't reach that pipe, can we? Well, there's your problem. Actually, getting pretty close to having something functional here. I'm loving how small and neat the uh, the gold volcano build can be. It could literally just be this big, excluding airlocks. Nice. Speaking of which, it seems we've cleaned everything off the floor here. Let's get rid of this conveyor chute, this auto sweeper, and... No! Bad timing. Uh, I'll just let these two units through. All right, let's cut this off. And we want to deconstruct the sweeper, the loader, and the chute. And we're just going to connect these like so. That should be fine. Well, the chute is already gone, so I can reconnect these and it'll just work when the time comes. He lives there now? Blabs, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, he lives there now. Oh, no. Oh, evil plot again. 
Okay, there's actually sandstone right here. I don't... It's only enough for one ladder. I don't think this is going to work. He fell asleep? Bruh. You have been doing this on purpose? <laughs> I reckon. What's this pump made out of? Uh, igneous rock. So worst case, I get evil plow to deconstruct this. Uh, I, I think we put some ladders here instead. The autosave length is really getting a bit obnoxious. Someone on the way to do this. Sloder is on the job. Fantastic. And Evil Plow escapes. Alright, cool. Is this powered? Yes. Is this connected? Yes. I'm surprised this isn't running already, actually. Oh, we didn't actually do the output pipe yet. Perfect. Wait till that's all built. How about this one? Saw back indeed. Can they not finish this? Here we go. Oh, they're just putting this in. Wait, why is this not already built? That seems very odd. Alright, cool. And please sweep this. Fantastic. So now when our 100 degree gold comes up this way, uh, it's just going to stay on the conveyor rail. It's going to get to this uh, sensor right here. And it's going to wait until it drops to 20 degrees. Wait, what? Oh, wow. It cools so fast it doesn't even stop. That's pretty cool. And it's, of course, going to be room temperature by the time it gets up here anyway. Alright then. Choose a blueprint. Steel. Supplying digging suit wearing. That's actually amazing. Irritable bowel, I don't think I care about. Decreased germ resistance is probably fine. Alright, Ruby? Uh, we need Ruby to go to the gym. Priorities. These three probably don't need to go to the gym anymore. Digging, operating, supplying, storing. Seems good.
Alright, we'll wait till Ruby gets some athletics. Still pumping gas here. We're down to double digit milligrams though. Should be fine. Oh, and we got this belt. Alright, I think we can put that there now. Hey, Morphe is down. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Name a pawn? Sure. Should I do Morpheus or... Are you saying I need to go to the gym because I do? <laughs> also, hi. Hello to you. Welcome in. Yeah, we're going to have you run on a hamster wheel for the next two weeks or something. Uh, I might put you on the night schedule as well. Oh, my trim is the only early riser. Fantastic. Alright, cool. Still pumping gas. 1500 micrograms. It's getting there. I don't love the way the biomes have their own background colour when everything's being dug away. I guess I could always put tiles in the background, but I'm not quite that obsessive. Oh, it's really cool in here. There's water all over the place. That's weird. Alright, looks like we're ready to go with our petroleum. Fantastic. We're not getting a whole lot of it because power, probably. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We probably shouldn't do this yet. Because it's going to output uh, natural gas. And we want to, we want to make this all vacuum. This is going to have hydrogen. This is going to have uh, steam. Which, come to think of it, if only so that I could have a tap in here to bring in water. I should have made this three tiles high, but we can probably, well, I was going to say we could get a water pipe. But that's actually easier said than done. I could move some ice down here. We need to be careful about that because ice flashing to steam uh, had a much, much higher gas pressure than expected last time. We need like... I don't know, 200 kilograms per tile, if that. Is this it? No, there's still some gas in here. It's the natural gas that we spat out. Okay. Anytime you're ready. Two micrograms. We're very, very close. One microgram. 
And away it goes. Fantastic. Alright, so we have vacuum. Let's get our... Oh, you absolute... No. No one's allowed in here. How dare you. Uh, no, I guess they're going to have to come in here a little bit. Let's just build these. I have to wait a bit for the one up the top. Actually, how did gas get in here just now? This is the modded airlock door. They shouldn't have... Did it run the oil refinery? For a second? Even though... I think it probably did. There's probably like a little bit of output fluid in the oil refinery. Yeah. So it wasn't the dupe's fault. They didn't let any gas in. Alright then. And we get this built today. We're not getting power because we're not getting power. Oh, and it ran out. That's good. That's great, actually. Yeah, that's not looking so good. Maybe I should have trusted my automation there. Alright, how's our gas looking? Down to five milligrams? Can no one reach this? Unreachable build. Oh, because I completely forgot I did that. My fault again. Okay. So someone should already be on the case. Fantastic. Good job, Evil Pluff. And it shouldn't take too long for this to empty. Or this for that matter. There it goes. I think the meteor shower is too frequent for solar to have proper uptime, yeah. I mean, we also get heat from... We get power from the heat from the regolith as well, but... But, yeah. You know what? I should have, um... We only actually need the conductive wire for the bunker doors. I should probably have the steam turbines connected directly to the robo miners. I mean, they kind of are. This gas filter is a higher priority. Hmm. Almost all of the power that. Uh, half of the power that steam turbine is generating, I think, is going to that gas filter. Alright. 
Are we good now? Um, this is going to be natural gas anyway. We don't have to empty this anymore. In fact, I can simply, as soon as we remove this, I can connect that up without even touching the pipes. Alright, so that's vacuum. Fantastic. And natural gas goes here. And I should probably put a atmo sensor just so that we don't completely waste uh, energy here. One more airlock, and then we'll let in the hydrogen over here. Uh, and then I was thinking to get water down here, we could drop off ice. It's definitely... Well, there's vacuum, though, so the I guess the ice won't actually melt. It will melt if we drop it onto the metal tile, right? Maybe not. I guess the experiment is worth running. Okay. Storage bin. We can now let in our hydrogen. Fantastic. I'm just trying to... yeah, there we go. Uh, suppress... current. I don't need to know that that's overpressure. Fantastic. Alright, so, please deliver... one ton of ice, I guess? Uh, I wish we had a search feature for this. Liquefiable... ice. Up priority. Let's see those errands. No pending deliveries. Oh, we don't have any stored ice. Uh, is there not ice lying around somewhere? Like here? Unreachable. Alright. And we got deliveries. Fantastic. Alright. So we're going to drop ice into the storage bin. And... Its contents are not... Oh, they are melting. Wait, are they? Negative 13.4. Negative 13.3. Fantastic. I'm just not going to let anyone in here. Uh, until the ice melts. I'll mark this for deconstruction once that happens. I, I can't remember if I have... Any containers elsewhere asking for ice? I think I do. In the water room, we just deliver ice here until it melts. The constant opening and closing of those bunker doors is pretty expensive. 
Uh, it's not that expensive. Not compared to the power that we get out of it. We're just not quite reaching the threshold where this thing will self-sustain. Maybe I just needed to do a better job of having it prioritize itself. But you'd think that's already working. We've only got the one steam turbine, 240 watts, running at the moment. And that power is going to... Gas filter's currently not being used. That's shut off because this isn't charged enough. So the power comes back this way. Oh, and also... These ones on the right are just straight powered through a transformer. Hmm. Probably better if I have another transformer over here to do something similar so we can get rid of these shenanigans. Yeah, I should I should definitely do that. Uh let's see. Let's make it out of copper, and probably get rid of these, to be honest. And then we keep the power shut off, but we measure, like, one of these batteries, I guess. Which we don't quite have room for without... Oh, yeah, we do. Can do a couple of bridges like that. Alright. Uh, so basically, we want it to be greedy. Um... I want it to hold on to its own battery charge and only export it when it's above a certain amount. And we've got a more simplified layout this time. I just disconnect this already. Make sure we prior this. And I might have to artificially open the doors at some point. And then we'll test and see if... If we've set this up to prioritize itself enough to self-run without crashing if we run out of... Uh... We've actually got lots of natural gas right now, so what the hell? Yeah, there's definitely something missing in the logic up here for keeping itself running. This one steam turbine just never stops. Oh, now it has. I didn't think I would see that happen, actually. So we don't have any heat over here anymore. 
Alright, let's just wait till they build this and we'll try and kickstart it. What about this build? We got vacuum, vacuum, hydrogen, vacuum, uh, atmospheric pressure above one kilo should be fine. And is our ice still melting? Negative 9.9 .9 degrees. It's taking its sweet time. Uh, but I guess we're able to run our oil refinery now. Probably. Did we fix this thing? Yeah, we did. Potential load on this wire is still rather high. We should break that in two. Oh, that's really low. 495. Uh, how about... How about this? 865? 4,300, alright. Uh, why don't I find out what's on this? This is 2880? Really? Hold on, what? Oh, that includes the transit tube access that's like 900 and... Which only happens in really short bursts. If we ignore that, it's like 2,000. How's it 2,000? 240, 480... 960... Yeah, that is technically pretty high, if everything was running simultaneously, which it won't be. Hmm. What about this one? This is only 360. And over here, it's only 610. So I should join these two? How about 1835, 2880, but we can ignore a big chunk of it. That's pretty good. All right, let's put our transformer where exactly? Spaghetti. I don't think... It's okay to have this immersed in liquid. Um, how about this? And this. And like this. And so on. Oh, wow, we've got access to 29k lead again. I should probably be using that at the moment. Either way. Damn, lead is cheap. Once you get to the oil biome. Obviously. Alright, now we can build this. How much copper do we have? Zero. Uh-oh. Next activity, 11 cycles. We might have to cancel a bit of copper build somewhere.
building, decorating, tidying. Not really. Let's have a look upstairs. Oh, they are just finishing it now, actually. And Evil Pla is going to build... Oh, okay, I thought he was stuck. Nope, there's still more. Awaiting delivery copper. Uh, we've got 179 kilos all of a sudden. We didn't just get it from the volcano. I could put a timer here whereby if... Let's get a sensor. Uh, rail element sensor should be fine. Does a germ sensor give us a signal if... This gives us negative 273 if there's nothing there, right? No, I don't think that's how it works. Um, let's just detect element. We know what's going to be here. And we're going to say... Uh, I'll put it up this way, actually. I'm just going to put a filter gate. And if we detect that something's been backed up here for a long time, we're just going to let some items through. And assume that they've had enough time to cool down. So, element sensor... Uh, filter is... I think it's 200 seconds. So if something is stuck here for 200 seconds, we're gonna let an item through. And we're gonna look for copper. Find metals, where are they? Copper. There we go. Do I have room to do the same thing here? Not really? Kind of? As long as I have room for the sensor, should be fine. I can't put that. Uh, I can't put it in front of the volcano. I could move the conveyor loader down one. Can I put the buffer behind the volcano? Or the filter gate, rather? Yeah, I can. I'll have to build it out of probably steel. Well, I guess that's how it goes. Remove this down. That wire is not gonna. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, filter gate. Right about here. Um, I need to move the conveyor loader. I guess we can do that whenever we want. Actually, and we'll put the sensor on this tile here, and then uh, I guess use some steel just in case for the wire there. We 
we need an element sensor. Not out of lead, I don't think. Not so close to the volcano. Uh, and last but not least, conveyor loader can go here. And we'll probably need one more piece of rail. Okay. How's this looking? Ice is at negative 6.1. It's taking a really surprisingly long time to melt. What was that sound? Oh, doors opened. Oh, we got battery charge here. Why is there polluted water in here? Why is my trim dead? Are you kidding me? How? The batteries are full now. And the door is powered by these batteries. They never built this. Are you joking? There's two charges for the airlock door. I'm not accepting that. That's not okay. That's just ridiculous. I swear they think up ways to kill themselves. Still loading, wow. All right. So I was in the middle of this while Matrim was craftily finding ways to die. Um, this has no power. If we connect that, it's powered. Okay. At least it wasn't evil Pla again. I guess. Yeah, this one piece of wire waiting for copper uh, is apparently the entire problem. Amazing. That doesn't actually replace it. There we go. Just when we thought we had good news. Hey, the batteries are actually fully charged. How did that happen? Alright. Let's have a peek down here again. Redo everything I just did. Uh, let's see. We need a sensor. Lead will be fine in this case. We need automation wire. And we need to set that filter to the maximum. And I'll have to remember to go back there and set it to copper. Uh, here we should probably use steel. since we're building our filter gate directly behind the volcano. And we need to move this down. Uh, we'll also need a bit of rail down here. 
have a peek up here. It still hasn't been built. Let's have a peek up here. It's actually being built. No dead dupes this time. Uh, and what about the automation wire? Alright, good. So, we want... Green signal if below 50%. Red signal only after 100%. And we can probably tweak those numbers a bit, but basically... Uh, basically, we want all of this power to go to our batteries. Well, the batteries are on the main the main wire line already. Uh, all of that power goes to doors and robo miners as a priority. And once we're above fifty percent power. Um, we'll start. Uh, no, this would be wait until it shuts up. Uh, wait until the batteries are completely full. Let's drop that a little bit. Uh, if the batteries are 90% full, uh, enable this power shutoff so that power flows back to the main base. And if it drops below one third, shut it down, keep power for ourselves up here, so it'll be self-sustaining. That's the idea, anyway. First we need to actually get some solar power coming in, before we run out of heat. Fantastic. And we're already closing the doors again. Wait, no we're not. I think it was just slowly cycling. I wish the doors wouldn't full cycle whenever there's a flicker like that. Um... Why is it flickering like that? Because it's still linked to this battery. Okay, I think I have to change the logic on the space scanner. Oh, it's actually just because this media is coming. Well, there's your problem. That's probably why this steam turbine is the one that's always on. Because this robo miner uh, can get some heat added to it regardless of whether the doors are working. Something managed to cause damage. This is why we use the diamond. Alright, it does look like it's managing to run itself now, though. And it should be not exporting power. Okay. Solar panels are starting to work. Damsel is still trapped. Because the robo miners are not that fast. Uh, battery charge is going up. Good. I guess it had a lot of regolith to catch up on this time. She's still got half a charge of oxygen. Probably be fine. Um, Damsel, why don't you help dig this? There you go. That works better. I 
did summon someone up here to do absolutely nothing. But whatever. Alright, we have solar power. And the batteries are actually charging a lot faster than I thought they would. Alright. I don't think I want to read from this battery anymore. So... This is going to be green when we get down to 33%, right? Hmm... I think we want to try and just build it so that we don't stop opening the doors based on battery charge. We just say that, yeah, we've got enough battery here to keep this thing running. That's the... we want to be able to assume that. Because if we have a condition where the battery charge gets low, therefore we close the doors, it's just going to spiral. Unless it's rescued by, like, um, uh, by the natural gas generators. But we want it to be completely self-sustaining, otherwise, if, if it's not net producing power overall, what's the point of the whole thing? So we just get it. We're, we're just getting it to prioritize itself, so that it doesn't spiral. Export the rest back to the base. Which it'll keep doing continuously unless and until we get down to thirty-three percent charge. I wonder if this whole time the batteries of uh, the steam and solar has actually been able to supply more power than I realized, and I just didn't fix it well enough. I hope so. Building out solar panels covering a third of the surface, I would certainly hope that accounts for a decent chunk of all of the power we're going to need. Alright then. Let's see what's going on down here. Nothing? Oh, we didn't build this yet? Is that really the only thing we missed? Looks like it. Fortunately, we didn't mess up our natural gas supply, unless you count the natural gas that we're going to get from crude oil. Oh, this thing's full of CO2. Are we not venting it to space anymore? I guess not. Because I was trying to do something clever with it down here instead. Alright then. Is this our waste pipe? It is... Um, I'm pretty sure I only want to waste CO2 here. So this is actually kind of backward now. Hmm. Hmm.
There we go. I thought about studying dermatology, but I don't like to make rash decisions. <laughs> Drive by dad jokes. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I saw you on Damsel's stream once, right? Oh, I didn't set this. Because I had to wait till it was built. Uh, let's see. Copper. Refined metal. Copper. Alright, if copper is detected here for 200 seconds, we're just going to let some of the copper through. And then, same thing down here. We actually need to replace our conveyor loader. And element sensor. Uh, it's probably fine making it out of lead, but... You know what? It really probably is fine with that tile. And the filter should be set to the maximum. Because we only want to use that logic if something gets stuck here for a long time. Please do the element sensor first so that I can set the conditions. Why does this say no power wire connected? Oh! Rude. That would probably help. But is it actually no power wire connected? It doesn't look like it. It says entombed as well as no power wire connected. Is the build not actually complete yet? It is though. Probably I like... oh no. Might have to mop up some of this. Oh, Wolframite. And it no longer says it's not connected. Alright, cool. How about our ice down here? Negative 1.9 degrees. This is taking so long. Um, I probably wouldn't have done that this way if I'd realized how long it would take for the ice to melt. But another 1.7 degrees and we should see water in here. Did we not get power? We did get power. Fully charged. Oh, it needs duplicate operation. I forgot about that. Oh, and we're making... Uh, we're making jetpacks. Cool. So it was pitcher pumps that are needed to do that with the exosuit forge. Good to know. I kind of want to try a jetpack thing up here just for funsies. Let's see. Except they're going to be able to... Oh, no. Yeah, I can see where pathing would get a bit weird. Hmm. If we build... a way out... up here... perhaps... Hmm. 
No, that's not going to work. I'd have to have only one place the dupes can exit. Um, if I don't, if I want to make sure they return the jetpack. Oh, this is looking like a pain. Let's just build it here and see if we can play with it a bit. Uh, let's see. Stations? Jet suit checkpoint. Oh wow, it's huge. That is ginormous. Jet suit dock. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess... Yeah, we do have to pump petroleum and gas into this thing. That's going to be a bit of a pain, actually. Gas intake pipe... Wait. It's both liquid and gas, but it only says gas intake? Empty suits of polluted water. Okay. So, do we have to put water into it? Clearance always permitted. Sto suited duplicants may pass even if there is no room to store their suit. Can I change that? Clearance vacants. Okay. Yep. Alright, so not configured. Deliver suit, empty suit. Gas intake oxygen, liquid intake petroleum. Okay, so I'm guessing the polluted water is dealt with with uh, bottles or something. Um, but yeah, I really don't know... Now that I look at it, where we would actually put this. So that the dupes have to come back this way. Not with our solar fields. I guess it would have to be, like, down here? That makes a lot of sense, actually. But then they'd have to not have access this way as well. Something to think about for a future base, I think. All right, oil refinery is doing its thing. Does it actually take duplicate operation just constantly? I'm surprised how slow the flow of petroleum is. I'm guessing we don't actually need... Wasn't it petroleum if we want a power plant? So you're telling me we need constant duplicate operation? That seems terrible. Uh, let's see. Power. Petroleum generator. Two kilograms per second. Hmm. Don't tell me the power plant needs duplicate operation. No. So we can run two and a half of these off of one dupe constantly pressing button, or whatever it is. Carbon dioxide, polluted water. That's a problem. And it outputs it just... It, it vomits it out, doesn't it? Yep. So, pretty similar to... The natural gas generator room. We're gonna have to deal with... The natural gas generators throw out um, CO2, but they have an actual gas output. They, Both of these produce polluted water.
and well, they both pollute. They both produce CO2 and polluted water, actually. Uh, the only difference is the petroleum generator doesn't have a gas output pipe. Hmm. Would it ever make sense to have both of these in the same room? No, it's bad enough having two layers of gas to deal with in that other room. I don't want to add a third. CO2 polluted water. We're actually going to get a lot of polluted water out of this. Like, more than we know what to do with? Two kilowatts, though, plus the heat that we have to turn into power. Oh, how's our ice doing? Two degrees? Ice shouldn't be at two degrees. Let's try deconstructing this. Okay. Ice, 2.2 degrees. Melting point, negative 0.6 degrees. So it's actually a couple of degrees over its melting point, but it's not melting. Huh? Oh, that was sudden. Okay. Did you know that heating crude oil to around 300 C causes it to boil into petroleum? Uh, I did not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually 400 degrees though. That, I, I could definitely see that being a much less convoluted and... Oh, well, this is only the first step though. So instead of an oil refinery... Which takes crude in, petroleum out, and gives us natural gas. 90 grams per second runs exactly one gas generator, right? So that gives us 800 watts. So this thing pays for itself, power-wise. And that's not counting the heat that was that's going to run some turbines. Um... But we don't need a duplicate if we if we flash it to petroleum well flash it doesn't isn't quite the right word why does it turn from one liquid to another like is there not a secondary output because we're like separating it or something also what's the temperature range for petroleum 538 degrees it goes to gas it's solid at negative 57.1 whereas crude oil is solid at negative 40 so it's got a wider range what about uh coolant properties 1.7 and 2.0. 1.76 and 2.0. It's slightly better than crude oil as coolant in every way. Interesting. 400 degrees is a little bit of a tall order. We'd have to run an aqua tuner very aggressively or secondary output never written in the database 
So there is a secondary output, it doesn't just say what it is. Bruh. Zako Luca, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, so our water is heating up as expected. Um, this natural gas is actually a lot colder than I thought it would be. What the hell? Oh, it's... Yeah, no, it's actually quite warm. It's just exchanging temperature with this uh, metal tile right here. Alright, cool. I think crude oil doesn't have secondary. No bypro no byproduct for directly boiling it. It's weird. Okay, but how how much would it take? How how would we go about heating it that much? As I stare at the magma. Hmm. Hmm. 400 degrees. That's pretty hard to get in most places. I mean, if we weren't cooling this volcano, it would definitely provide us with those temperatures. And then some. How could I take advantage of that heat, but also contain it? Tricky, tricky, tricky. Very tricky. Well. We are accumulating our petroleum in any case. I think um, for this save at least, whatever we're going to do with petroleum, we're going to do down below. Because... Ooh, three tons of coal. Uh, because pumping it up into the main base with all of this pipe spaghetti and coolant loops and stuff... Um, gonna be a little bit of a headache, I think. It's a somewhat advanced build, something to think about for a while, indeed. We've got our oil well. The load, current load is actually getting pretty high here sometimes. I think that was just because someone used... yeah. Uh, it takes a little longer than I thought for this to charge up one. So it's actually pretty expensive, people using the transit tube access. But look at just how far they can go with it, though. Yeah, a few transit tube access is quite handy. Oh, our steam system is doing quite well. Yeah, I think I definitely messed it up earlier somehow. Well, I think the the logic that we had, the layout that we had to control it earlier was not so good. Well, we'll give it a... If it's still working well in a hundred cycles, we'll call it good. That is a lot of battery. Alright then. Oh, and we're even running our active cooling here. Nice. 
which means the temperatures here should be relatively benign, or start to drop anyway. Alright, what's next? We don't really need crude oil for power, as it turns out, as we've been working towards. I don't really want to bother with it for power, as long as we have to have a duplicate operating the oil refinery to make it happen. Hmm. The Thermo Aquatuna with steel can go to 325 degrees. That's not enough. And I'm guessing we're not going to see an improvement looking at the... Yeah, the Thermo Aquatuna actually has an extra 50 degrees for free. Almost like it was made for making steam. So the thermoregulator is even worse. But we definitely can't heat pump using an aqua tuner. Uh, to get crude oil hot enough to go to petroleum. I think the trick is, I mean, unless we're using this lava down here sometime, uh, somehow, uh, I think the trick is taking advantage of a volcano. I think we would need, instead of a steam room around the volcano to begin with, we have, like, this could be the volcano room, something like this. Metal tiles above it, steam room, delete heat, and won't that actually keep it at only 125-ish? I don't want it to gain heat indefinitely. is the thing. Could I have something between insulated and metal tile? Something that's not as conductive, like maybe regular tiles even. Or I could use a specific metal, maybe? Probably not. Like if I use regular tiles here, Then we've got something between insulated and metal tiles in terms of conductivity. So this should get a lot hotter before this reaches 125, right? But how do we control exactly how hot it's going to get? Because if we go... Uh, if we go just 139 degrees higher, it's going to flash to sour gas. Hmm. I guess... It depends how, it depends how conductive whatever is here is going to be, and we could do some automation to decide when to run the steam turbines, I guess. This is actually going to take a lot longer to heat up than I kind of initially thought it would, uh, but that's okay. All 
Alright. I'm really not sure what our next project should be. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm getting close to the limit for what I want to do with this save. I want to start over and do smarter and neater builds from the beginning. What's this? Chlorine gas vent. I didn't even see that earlier. Uh, what's chlorine good for? Other than cleaning things. Chlorine is a natural germ killing element in a gaseous state. Uh, we can use it to turn rust into iron. And that's about it. We can make bleach stone if we have puffs. I haven't done all of the critter ranching and uh, getting plants to grow and stuff. I don't have a whole lot of space where I'd like to try that, but maybe we could at least get a pinch of peppers to grow or something. Oh, it needs a lot of phosphorite. It needs to be hot. Not a, much air pressure, lots of phosphate, polluted water, farm plot. Uh, we can try it anyway, so any gas is fine. Hmm. How do we temperature control 35 to 85 degrees? Especially without it being far away from the base. That's actually a pretty good question. Uh, similar question for the Delectavols. Because they want... What was it? The food was supposed to be... 70 to 80. That is very specific. So we would need not just a coolant loop, but for some things a heat loop, if that makes sense. That sounds difficult. Oh, we got dirt. Food was 81C and already complaining about it. <laughs> Indeed. 81 degrees. <laughs> yep. Figures. Uh, I'd really like to get some hatches again, because I want to confirm that got a good auto control of critter population preferably with a critter type that I mean we could do it with vols I guess what's their life cycle a hundred um, let's dig through here mop this up I want to find some hatches. Probably about time to take a break as well. Let's have a look at our solar. Batteries are looking really good. Fantastic. All right then. And we're actually accumulating 
generators are idle. Yes, please. We're actually accumulating natural gas now. So this is where we were yesterday, but something was busted. We didn't know it yet. With the uh, with the logic controlling the solar, the batteries and stuff. Oh, we're full of slush. Okay. I think I might be getting close to the end of what I want to do in Oni without, like, looking up the wiki or anything like that as well. I think we've uh, probably gone far enough with that particular self-imposed challenge. Especially for the fact that uh, if the database actually told us everything, it might be a different story, but the number of emissions and blank pages and stuff in the database uh, really not so helpful. I don't suppose we're going to find a hatch in the slime biome? Or can they be found anywhere? I should start just digging out the entire asteroid. How long would that take? At least seven minutes, I imagine. Let's just dig that out. Where's a hatch when you need one? Where indeed? Maybe we could come up with something better for cooling the uh, hot water inputs. I'm almost tempted to build a water reservoir around an AETN in future, but like, if we did that, oh, no, that'd be a good idea actually. I was going to say if we did that we couldn't use a room like this to cool our metal, but that's totally wrong. Uh, if this was water, the metal would cool off very quickly indeed. So maybe next playthrough, we don't build a very grand uh, water storage area until we can get to the AETN. And we could have water input for electrolysis. Hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen goes straight into the AETN right next door. That means we'd have to build in the ice biome early on, though. That sounds like a nightmare. Should probably just dig the whole thing out, like, as quickly as possible. Because the melting ice is a problem, to say the least. Oh, that's a whole lot of poker shell. I want to figure out something better as well for, like, keeping the base clean from the very beginning. Or maybe just, as they say, have a living area 
inside a dead end with Atmos suit checkpoints. And have the dupes go about their business everywhere in Atmos suits. More or less as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, that's our petroleum filled up already. I mean, it's only, a uh, what, 24 tiles of it, but it's still... Let's, uh, let's save real quick. And... Hope that our solar is still working when we come back. Throw on some words on the stream. that. There we go. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Bruh. Kevin. Kevin, what are you doing? Sound has been playing over and over in this break, right? The, uh, it's really hard to describe. It's like, I, I can't think of a way to imitate that sound with a human mouth. But it's very abrupt, right? Yeah, we tried for ages yesterday to figure out what it was. And we couldn't. Uh, and even now when power seems to be doing really well, um, uh, yeah, we're actually accumulating natural gas, so it's not power shutting off or something. Um, we had all sorts of, like, theories and superstitions as to what that sound could mean yesterday, and we just couldn't figure it out. I wonder if you have an automation alert built somewhere? Yeah, we we covered that one. I have two automation alerts. Yay. Yay? Uh, Libda, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. We've got, um... Uh, medias are coming and medias have stopped. Uh, that's it. And as you might guess... We're not getting those notifications that often. Also, there isn't actually a way to make that sound with uh, automated notifiers. It, any hammers? I don't think there are. Um, the only hammer I can think that we ever built... I think we built, like, one here somewhere just so that we could see what it was like. And I compared it to the notifier, and I said, well, the notifier is just better. So... So yeah, no hammers. It may be default alert when you do not set it? Uh, what is? RPHL streams, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Wait, what are you sorry for? <laughs> Is it a hatch coming from an egg? I don't think so. We don't have any hatches right now. I was trying to, um... I was trying to get some hatches again. But... Oh, there's actually like a ton of coal in here. Oh. We've got 1.1 tons of coal in here, because I never finished what I was doing with the auto-sweeper. Try building alert thingy and without setting anything, give green signal? Okay. Um, we've got... Let's see... Automated notifier? And hammer. Hammer is... you can change its orientation. Strikes the building to the left. So we need a building. It makes a different sound based on the building, right? And then... Signal switch. Bit of wire here. Let's see what that looks like, or sounds like, rather. Um, shoveful eggs? Sure. Two things I really want to do more of next run are critter ranching, more and better critter ranching. And I know it's really not, like, strictly necessary or effective or whatever. But I kind of want to artificially grow every type of plant. Just to say we can. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, 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 on the break I found Cavern is entombed here somehow. What, what happened here? Is it the mini gas pump? 
contents. Okay. The gas pump isn't doing anything. I don't know how he's entombed. Maybe because he was in the middle of the airlock door when it closed? Uh, the gas pump says pipe blocked. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Um. Could we perhaps output... Output this gas here? Actually, make that an emergency, please. Poor cabin. Why is his head stuck in the ceiling, though? Alright, so that's gonna pump gas. Oh no, this has an automation wire connection. Um. Wire bridge? Automation wire deconstruct immediately. And pump gas. Okay. And then... vacuum? He's still stuck. Are you kidding? What the hell is this? Okay. That... That was cringe. Also, there's like... Some kind of material stuck here now. Bruh. How'd he get in there? I think... I think he was somehow in the middle of the airlock door when it was locked. And because we couldn't empty this room of gas because I messed this up. Because the, uh, the slush had never been this full. Like, ever. Um. So this didn't empty, therefore this door was locked. But I, I can only guess that the, um... The modded airlock door shutting on him somehow shunted him up here. What the hell is this? No. What? Why? How, even? How is... How did we just put polluted water in here? Whatever, I'll just accept the damage to the desalinator. I'll just repair it. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Uh, no, quite the contrary. Petri Cottontail, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rip Kevin? Kevin's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, I was going to say Damsel didn't get shunted into the block when it locked, but um, it didn't quite work that way this time. Sorry for caps, that's fine. Tom, welcome, welcome. Dupe, dupe is stuck in airlocks, so they wet themselves in the Atmo suit. Oh, so that... So if they wet themselves in the Atmo suit, when they put it back, it just empties here? That looks like sand. Probably he was carrying sand and got locked. Oh, it's probably regolith. Yeah, it, pro it was probably regolith. Modded airlock shenanigans, indeed. Okay. I'm still not sure about how I would go about a very specific temperature range that is above or below about 125 degrees. Uh, especially above these two temperature ranges. Uh, the, the Delectable wants 70 to 80 degree food. That's kind of tricky. Probably just give it a 70 to 80 degree room. And the food will sort itself out, right? 
Yeah. And um, if we want to heat crude oil, what the? That's not crude oil. Uh, if we want to heat crude oil to turn it into petroleum without using an oil refinery, um, I'm not sure how we're going to go about that. My instinct, well, my, my best guess at this stage is use a volcano. Um, let's just sweep. Refined metal gold. We need power. So instead of this setup, where the room is kept uh, at about 125 degrees, because we consume steam over that temperature. Oh, that's all right. I was thinking about what if this was the steam room, this was the hot room. We could try experimenting with different materials that have different... Uh, different rates of transferring heat, but that would be really difficult to fine-tune, I think. What we really want is something we can automate with specific settings. Isn't there an aqua tuner you put in a liquid bath to heat the liquid? There is, but um, it if we make it out of steel, which is the best material I know how to get. Uh, our max temp before it takes heat damage is 325 degrees. We need to go to 400. Is that a jetpack? It is indeed. Uh, we haven't really done anything with it yet, but that is indeed 12 jetpacks. So, like, oh, what if I had, like, hmm, I really wish we could get insulated doors, because I was going to say, like, what if I opened a door when the heat got high enough? I guess if we had a series of doors, they wouldn't conduct heat as well. Hmm. If we had... A gas and or fluid loop that stopped or started that transfers heat and stops or starts based on the temperature. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like where this is going, I think. Wait a sec. No. Uh, hydrogen might work. Hydrogen gas. Uh, liquid all the way down to absolute zero, practically. Yeah, it's, um... It's not like it's going to go to plasma if it gets hot. Okay, we might have to use hydrogen because... Without, without making super coolant, that is... And I, I really want to try and set this up without needing the high tech for a couple of reasons. Partly because it's cool, partly because we can do it sooner, partly because I haven't actually made super coolant yet. Um, does it not? Does it never go to gas? I guess not. So, hydrogen gas, a hydrogen gas loop uh, that stops or starts transferring heat from a room based on its temperature, and a steam room to delete heat. We could keep a temperature range of uh, 400 to 400 to 500 
degrees. Well, we could probably be a lot more precise than that. But the point is we could manage it. 12 jetpacks, oh my god. I liked them so much. Not anymore though. Wait, what? Oh, because pathing or something? Yeah, I'm thinking next time with a volcano. What's the melting point? Oh, it's the temperature that it comes out, approximately. Gold liquid 1000 comes out at 2600. Um, copper 2500. Oh, eight, a thousand for solid, rather. Do you want to make petroleum boiler? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. So, I can't get the heat by using an aqua tuner or something, and I wouldn't want to pay that kind of power for it anyway. But my idea is we take a volcano, preferably a copper volcano, as far as the volcanoes that I've seen, copper's by far the best for the specific heat that comes out. Uh, the thermal mass. So, like, instead of a steam room like this, we have a room, and then a steam room, and then the steam turbines. Uh, and instead of what I did here, where we're just using metal tiles to conduct temperature to here, uh, instead we'd have, uh, kind of like, kind of like this. We'll use hydrogen, um, as a heat pump. Thermal, when we want to exchange heat, uh, insulated when we don't. And we'll use some liquid gas, uh, we'll, we'll use some gas shut off, uh, where is it? Gas shut off and circuit logic. We'll, we'll cycle the coolant when it's at like 350 degrees or something. So we try and keep it between 300 and 400 degrees. That's the idea, anyway. I think that might work. Should we try it in sandbox? Metal volcanoes aren't really good for that. May run out of heat prior to actually being useful. That's a good point, actually. I mean, we get a, we get a decent amount of heat out of copper, but, like... Fluids have a lot of thermal mass. I mean, liquids. Uh, fluids have a lot, a lot of thermal mass. It takes a long time to heat up or cool down a body of water. Hmm. Where else would I even get that kind of heat? I really don't know. You have an undigged geyser on the left. This one? Yeah, it's uh, infectious polluted oxygen. I'm not... Oh, do you mean one that I haven't noticed? Or did you mean that one? Materials... Uh, which one shows us the... Neutronium? None of them? Fantastic. We're looking for a black line. Magma? Not trying to spoil anything, but it's right there, chilling at the bottom. Yeah, I know... Uh, I've, I've put a little bit of thought, but not a whole lot, into how we could try and tap this. Isn't it all just like a finite heat source, though? I mean, it's a lot of heat, but like... There's not like a magma geyser down here somewhere or anything, as far as, as far as I'm aware. Uh, 
wherever possible I like to utilize renewable things so I never have to think about it again. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's chlorine. I forgot. That's right. I was trying to see what we can do with chlorine. And uh, I think it's literally just... We need it for dash of salt vine. Oh, right. That gives us salt. Affects chlorine six grams a second. But it needs a supply of chlorine. Wait, what? It doesn't actually consume the chlorine, but it produces more. And produces salt, which we're obviously not worried about if we have a salt geyser. I think I know where that sound is coming from. Check priorities on everything. Sounds like a red priority on duties. Or a pipe slash wire that keeps breaking and a dupe fixing it. A pipe slash wire breaking and a dupe fixing it. We've heard it go back to back twice really fast before. It eats chlorine. Oh, okay. Well, okay, let's, let's save real quick. And I'm going to go and just like snip every electric wire. Just about. There's a lot of them. Uh, whatever, let's do this. Let's just snip the main bus. Uh, where's all our... What you calls them? These things. Oh, I can just do it like this. Alright. So we're going to completely wreck the base right now. We're snipping all of the wire connections. And we're going to see if that sound stops. So it eats chlorine, you say. Chlorine, sand, negative seven, affects chlorine six grams per second. That sounds like it produces it. Salt 65 grams, uh, kilograms rather. Okay. If it makes it to the end of the cycle and we don't hear that sound, uh, we may have found the cause. It's going to be a lot harder to figure it out more granularly, but that might be it. It's so peaceful. Oh, the steam turbines are still doing their thing. They don't actually need to be connected to an output. Yeah, I think you might be right. It's very inconsistent, so it's still a little bit tentative. Wouldn't you see it if you open the priority overlay and see if there's anything set to emergency? Um, priority overlay. Where is the priority overlay? Oh, you mean this? Uh, let's see. I've got a bunch of nines, but... 
Why is this one a nine? Not that I'm gonna keep this save after I broke it. So you think that sound was like going into yellow alert for a brief moment. But I, I don't think like a wire breaking works that way, right? Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything that stands out. But we made the sound stop, so I think the idea that it's something to do with a wire the moment was too brief, you would it takes time to fix a wire. Yeah, 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 that as well, yes, absolutely. Because we hear them just, like, back to back sometimes as well. Okay. I want to jump into Sandbox and see how effective maintaining this temperature range would be. The other thing that I'm not sure about is suppose we do get our room at uh, what was it, three to four hundred degrees to turn the crude oil into um, petroleum. How do we pump out just the petroleum? Do we just have to keep pumping and filtering? Cutting the wire doesn't resolve that. It might be something that was powered but now stopped. Uh, I don't know. I really don't. But yeah, I think... I think we've learned enough with this save, to be honest. Uh, I think next time we will start a new one and try and do a better job like try and make more of the more of the base look something like this as opposed to something like this or this is kind of neat but not it's a, i'd like it to, to be a bit uh, spaced a bit better the main bus is very cramped looking but i think that's going to look that way anyway um i definitely want the the, the key fluids going up and down to be separated so we can bridge across them easily and stuff like that. Um, I want to have... Oh, I want a lot of things. I think I'd like to build... I said this before, but I think I'd like to build the water reservoir around the AETN. So that... Uh, when we inevitably rely on steam vents uh, for our water supply. Because I don't think we're getting more than one... I, I think we're probably lucky to get one cool geyser, right? Uh, I think we take the hot water in from the steam vent and we have an AETN in the middle of our liquid reservoir, our, our water reservoir. It's also going to be a really good place to drop off uh, hot metal. GG, well played. Thank you. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, is the YouTube link not working? You can scroll down. Uh, it's right below the stream. That's weird, though. That should work. I'll have a look at it. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think that might do it for today, to be honest. A little bit more tired than usual, and I don't really want to start a new save right now. I, I'd rather start it at the beginning of a stream. 
So let's see who else is streaming only for today, I guess. If anyone, there was literally no one yesterday. Uh, apart from myself. I was a little bit surprised by that. Alright, we got a few people streaming only today. Uh, I think... We'll probably drop in on discount again. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the uh, Factorio Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Space Exploration and Crestorio 2 for the next few days. Evil Pla, take care. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, say hello to Discount for me. Take care, Blaz. Thanks for hanging out. Harvey, take care. And see you next time. Oh, and I, I definitely will be, like, looking things up this week. Um, the, the whole blind thing, I think we're done with that. I'm going to learn what I can. All right, let's go. All right, so what we got, we got 